Welcome. Today I bring you the preview of the next chapter of The Ambassador's Daughter. Sanjar hugs Nair to calm her down. Melek wakes up and looks for her parents, then she enters the room. Sanjar hugs her when he sees her. Nair asks Melek if she wants to accompany Sanjar to work. So she happily accepts and goes to get ready to leave. Sanjar tells Nair that she is capable of anything. Nair asks her if she is going to give up with her revenge. But Sanjar answers that it only means that she will be able to take care of Melek alone. Halise goes to see Manek. She asks her if she brings her good news and if she has managed to get Sanjar to forgive her. But Halise answers that she already talked to Nair to apologize. Manek asks her how she thinks that will help her to get Sanjar to forgive her. Halise replies that as far as she has seen Sanjar does not forgive anyone when it comes to hurting Nair and that is why she knows that Sanjar will never forgive her and there is nothing left but to wait for the divorce. Manek asks her if then she also wants to leave her. Menex's mother asks Halise to help them so that her daughter will not be a divorced woman. But Halise replies that Sanjar will never allow anyone to hurt Nair and that is why there is nothing more to talk about. So divorce is inevitable. Manek reminds her that she promised her that she would help her. But Halise tells her that she has embarrassed them with what she did during the engagement and that the only reason he chose her as daughter-in-law is because he wanted to mold her to his whim but he has already seen that she is of no use to him. Atik tries to defend her daughter. But Halise shuts her up and asks them how much money they want for the divorce. Sanjar and Nair leave with Melek. Nair comments that they have to do something the next day. So Sanjar asks him to surrender. So Nair asks him to stop his revenge. But Sanjar leaves without answering. So Nair calls Geddes to inform him that she has Sanjar busy with Melek and asks him what he has done. Geddes replies that he has searched everywhere possible but has found no trace of a kin. She distressed asks him to hurry so Geddes asks him to be patient and says that as soon as he finds something he will inform her. As Nair hangs up she goes to wake up Elvon to update her on what happened. Seeing Zara she apologizes for what Akin did to her. So Zara asks her not to apologize. Saying that what an obsessed man did to her is not her fault. Elvon asks them what they are talking about and who Akin is. They tell him what happened so Elvon is furious. Nair tells them that Sanjar is going to kill Akin and that he has already caught him so they need to find out where he has him before something terrible happens because Sanjar is not planning to stop. Not even for his daughter. So she is trying to distract him to buy some time for Geddes to find Akin. Elvon angrily says she will finish Akin herself. Zara gets upset that Elvon and Sanjar want to kill a person and says she will go to work and try to make Sanjar come to his senses. Then Zara angrily goes to complain to Kavarik for not doing anything to make Sanjar stop and also help him with his revenge. Kavarik replies that he has made a promise to Sanjar. Zara tells him that she is disappointed in him and leaves after warning him not to tell Sanjar that she knows everything. Halise takes Aisha to the mansion. As Elvon and Nair say goodbye to Golsier to leave. Halise stops them to talk to them. She asks them about Melek and thanks Nair for letting the girl stay with them. Nair replies that she has not left her daughter to her but to Sanjar and leaves with Elvon. Yaya goes out with Dudu and asks her for a date night. Manek interrupts to talk to Yaya and ask for her help to stop Sanjar from divorcing her. Yaya asks her not to worry as Halise would never allow the divorce. But Manek tells her that Halise does not support her and has gone to see her to tell her to get divorce. She also swears that she didn't do anything without Halise's prior authorization. So Yaya asks her if Halise knew about the plan with the photos. Manek says yes and asks for help. Then Yaya says she will see how to fix it. Manek thanks her and leaves. Meanwhile Sanjar spends time with Melek in the olive trees. Geddes arrives there and sees Melek. So he goes to greet her. Zara arrives so Geddes asks her to take care of Melek while he goes to talk to Sanjar. Geddes asks Sanjar why he hasn't killed a kin. He answers that he has some business to settle. Geddes asks him about it. So Sanjar answers that he is waiting for Melek's birth certificate to register her to school and also wants to get rid of Karaman by buying his port. Geddes asks him what he plans to do when he kills a kin and goes to jail or to the gallows. Asking him to remember the promise they made to each other eight years ago. Sanjar tells him that promise was broken when he fell in love with Nair. Geddes asks him if he then believed in the photos taken by Nekdet. Sanjar answers no. So Geddes asks him what is the problem then. And if it is his feelings that are bothering him. Sanjar yells at him for loving Nair and going close to her and comforting her. 
even if it was because he made her cry. Geddes asks him if he thinks he likes to see Nair cry while saying that if something happens to Sanjar he can't live and warns him not to make Nair cry again. Zara who has heard the discussion interrupts to warn them that the lawyers have arrived with Karaman's partners to talk about buying the port, so Sanjar and Geddes go with them. Karaman's partners say they want to sell their shares, so Sanjar hugs his daughter and says that the shares he will buy from them he will transfer them to Melik. Later Geddes goes to Nair's house to talk about Sanjar. There he learns that Elvan already knows everything that has happened. Zara arrives too so Elvan opening the door for her complains that now that everyone is there there is no one watching Sanjar. Zara knowing that Geddes is there asks Elvan to pretend not to have seen her. Elvan comes out to her and asks her why she is hiding. So Zara tells her that Geddes is in love with Nair. Inside Geddes and Nair argue about what Sanjar is doing and that he is already dividing his inheritance. Nair asks how they will be able to make Sanjar give up his revenge. Geddes replies that he thinks Melek is the solution and they should keep pushing him with her. Nair says then he should tell what is happening to his daughter. But he doesn't want his daughter to carry those problems. Elvan returns so Geddes leaves. Elvan follows him and claims him for falling in love with Nair. He asks her where she gets that from. Elvan tells him that Zara overheard him arguing with Sanjar about it and asks him how he is still alive after setting his eyes on the woman Sanjar loves. Geddes asks him to stay out of matters that don't concern him, but Elvan tells him that maybe for him it's nothing but for Sanjar his love for Nair will never end so he should give up. Geddes threatens her not to say anything to Nair and leaves. Halis goes to talk to Yaya to ask him to take Elvan back to the mansion. He asks her if she wants the docile Elvan or the one who turned her back on her. Halis asks him what he means. So Yaya tells her that he talked to Manek and he already knows that she approved the plan with the photos but to save herself she abandoned Manek. So Halis is furious and warns him to stay out of the matter. She also orders him to make Elvan come back. But Yaya tells her that he has betrayed his brother and kicked his wife out for her, but that she keeps trying to impress Sanjar. Leaving him aside. Halise demands him to talk to her with respect since she is his mother and that she knows that the reason why he betrayed Sanjar is not because of her but because of his resentment. But Yaya warns him not to keep acting that way if he doesn't want to end up ruining the remaining family. Sanjar arrives at the mansion with Melik. Then goes out to talk to Yaya telling her that he wants to give her one last piece of advice. So he asks her not to ruin her marriage with Elvan, saying that for Elvan he became her only family and that not if he throws her out accusing her of treason he will regret it. Just as it happened to him with Nair. Then Sanjar goes to see Akin, while Geddes and Nair continue searching. And so we end this preview, until next time.